All right, so got my uh, plastic bag out for the plastic bag test, which really I'm gonna have to do it again because it's so dusty right now. I'm not getting an accurate reading on how rough it is. And regardless of the fact it's gonna get a three stage con decontamination, but uh, I'm thinking it's gonna need <clears throat> clay bar, iron remover and wash before we even bring it inside and uh, hopefully the fine clay bar will get it uh, being it's a fairly new vehicle and we'll bring it inside to do the polish. So we've done our decontamination and I'm now running over it and we still have a little roughness so we're gonna bust out the fine clay bar and get busy. Okay, so we ran our plastic bag over it outside as we were finishing up the decontamination. And I'm gonna continue on with the clay lube and some fine clay. And we're gonna do one panel at a time here under the light and get ready for a coating prep polish. So I'm clay barring it up with this fine grade clay bar good and getting around this emblem really good before I do all the tape off. And I'm just doing this clay bar before I got to the polishing. And now I'm using the blue cutting pad. This particular one is the one with the waffle print. It is the newer pad, uh, line of pads that they put out for McKee's 37. I like them, but I'm kind of a fan of the old school, the non-textured, just flat ones. Really like the way they worked just fine. And I'm not so sure the new design is all that much better, but I like them. Can't say anything bad about any of them. I, I like their pads. Um, you'll see a lot of the color changing and stuff though because I've got several that will work with each polish and I'm trying to go through all of them and use them and sort of get my opinion together on them. So you'll see me going from the blue to the black and sometimes you'll see me going from the white to another color white or an orange to a white. But uh, generally, I'm going from cutting to the finer polished pad and then to the finish pad, depending on how many phases. All right, so this morning, I started off by taping everything up so I don't have to come back and do it each time I move on to another panel. And literally every edge that could potentially get any kind of compound or polish on it, every decal, plastic, whatever it is that I know I'm going to rub up against as I polish every single panel is now taped off for protection and easy cleanup. So all the taping is officially done and I am ready to roll. Back over here with this black finish pad and I've gotten most of the micro scratches off at this point so I'm just really making sure there's no swirls and uh, that it's had its really good last touch before we put this prep polish on and the prep polish will also get ran with the finish pad. The doors had the most scratches, and above the doors, there was some deeper scratches where I had to do some serious compounding, and this orange one right here is a heavier cut and compound, uh, I mean pad, and so that's the corner that I was actually trying to get the worst of the scratches off the hood on, 
and so I went a little bit more aggressive with the pad right there and it came out real nice there was not even a, a hint got this ass Corvette gotta get some footage on this <laughs> nice I've been wanting to check out these mid engines for a while yeah hold on things are badass Sorry, I just took one photo. I just I don't like this. I was like, yeah, that's it. Sweet. <laughs> 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 gonna be an interesting rap job here, huh? Wow, definitely the coolest design All for right, a bit. guys, time for an opening the box video. I just ordered the McKees three year ceramic coating kit. And I had to throw in a little bit of extra so that I could get the $200 price tag for the 25% discount. Detailers 25 is the code. If you guys spend at least two hundred plus dollars, you'll save twenty-five percent using that code. Now let's see what I got. Looks like they hooked me up on some 360 edgeless towels. Another awesome mitt. Always like their mitts the best. Got a new clay bar. Some good old coating prep auto wash. universal clay lube and I was just running low on that so definitely needed that oh and that is what this is all about ceramic coating baby now look at the size of that bottle four ounces 118 milliliters most people's are only 50 and I've seen them even smaller than that, I think 35 to 50. So that's a good size bottle when you consider the price you get it for. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'll get it all put up in a little bit here. I just want to show everybody what all I got. By the way, I love their inline applicators, the little square cubes there are awesome. Fast polish fine cut. I already had a little bottle of their fast polish, but I can always use more. And this is what I was running low on that I was concerned about. So I'm glad I got more of this. This is that what the F chemical that I love so much. And extreme iron remover. I was completely out of that. I was actually using a Meguiar's and I don't love it. Definitely don't love it like I love McKees. Got my dropper, which I had plenty of these, but definitely like using McKees specific stuff. The new toy is my IK Foam Pro 2. All right. I knew I had a toy in here somewhere. Check it out. This is after going from ultra to medium to fine. And we're going to do basically super fine, which is the coating prep polish. So we got one more pass left to do and getting close up with all the light in the world. I'm looking for micro scratches at this point and we're looking pretty good. Got some more cutting to do down here. There was some pretty bad scratches right in this area along the wheel well. Um, 
so I did a two stage in this area this all in one is a good one for the fine cut and uh, so I did fast polish with the all in one as a finishing touch right there and then I end up doing the prep polish and this is me starting to get busy with taking a lot of the residue off ton of residue from the prep polish which was fine because I wanted to spread it and Take just keep going. Look at the old vet. It looks like they're doing flat black on it today. Come along real nice. I love the front end of these things. It just looks so different. All right, now the entire truck is covered in residue from the prep polish, and we're gonna run around with some brand new microfiber edgeless 360s that we got from McKee's, and the prep spray. It smells like cherries, really awesome stuff. And we're gonna exfoliate this whole truck with the spray and it's going to be blinging and ready for the serum. All right, so we're just wiping off the leftover residue on the truck and getting ready for putting the serum on. I do got a little touch up and light compounding to do in the front area here. But for the most part, the whole thing is ready to go and has had the coating prep polish. Now, this wrap is looking really sharp. Can't wait to see this all done. This mid-engine Corvette is going matte. All right, so I'm gonna set up an angle on this front end where I'm gonna begin the last stage of prep and also the beginning stage of ceramic application. So I'm gonna set it up on a tripod, get my angle right, and Get busy. This fine clay bar that just came in the mail got put to work right away. I wanted to make sure it was ready for this because this is where I started at. As you see the bottle down there in the corner, I'm laying it on now. I took the time and primed it right there at the beginning so that I could run it good and cover the whole front grill and then the bumper. And I basically start at that low point and work my way all the way around. I do cross patterns with the ceramic and I also at the same time kind of run with the body lines because it just helps. But cross patterns make sure that they get wiped from both directions. Basically forcing it down into the pitted area that you've just exfoliated, exfoliated and opened up. So you want the cross pattern so that from every direction it's pushing that nano down in there and that by the time it flashes you're wiping it off it's pretty good because you can time it on per panel and basically you do an area and a cross pattern go all one way and then all the other way and then you wipe it off immediately because there is no flash time really it's just immediately it starts to evaporate as soon as you stop wiping and there's nothing but residue and it's got a special way that it spreads that i think so allows this you to black really beauty is it. done so we're going to do quick. a cleanup and then i will go over all of it and show it off a little bit but it was a massive amount of polishing we got all the micro scratches off and a nice thick layer of ceramic I hope you get to see what I'm seeing. That little bit of debris that you do see is just the static 
clinging on to some of the lint from the towel but for the most part the paint and clear coat looks absolutely insanely good and everybody here is happy they gave me a black one for my first vehicle and I rose to the challenge and I think everybody couldn't be happier. Guys, I want to remind you that we're having a giveaway tonight at 9 p.m. We're going to make sure that you listen to the episode because it's going to be trivia questions. And also, Sunshine State Detailing Association. That's a new course.